Hi everyone, and welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I have my husband with me because Thomas is a true believer in stuffed mushrooms. Mm -hmm. This is going to be our next holiday appetizer as part of my series here. So we've got these big jumbo white mushrooms and we're gonna stuff them with delicious flavors. <laughs> They're big. I turned into the mushroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. My husband and my kids will be very happy for these. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So what I have my husband doing is he is just taking the mushroom in a wet paper towel and just kind of cleaning them off. And then we're just going to take a knife. We're going to cut the stem out and kind of pop it out there. And then we're going to take the stem and we're just going to dice it up into small pieces. Because we're going to add this to the mixture. And you guys, you are correct. If you know me, you know I don't like mushrooms. But I will make these every year for them. Yay. And every year is a different recipe. So, And they love stuffed mushrooms a lot during the holidays. You know, you got that one recipe that was really good with the sausage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to link that one so they can see it. All right, I'll put that one down below in the description box if you want to check out the other stuffed mushrooms that I made that they really love. What's going to be in this one? It's going to be a secret? Oh, it's a secret. You'll see coming up. Some simple ingredients. <laughs> Okay, while I'm finishing up the stems of our mushrooms here, I've got my husband cutting off about two sides of a large red bell pepper. Now you can use any color that you want. So he's just gonna dice these up really small. So he's gonna make strips, really thin strips, and then he's gonna just dice those up. Now with the mushrooms, make sure that you don't run them under water to clean them, okay? You can use just a paper towel, wet it. Damp, yeah, damp paper towel. Yeah, and then use that to clean your mushrooms. You want me to butter this thing? Okay, yes. All right, now Thomas is gonna go ahead and butter a nine by 13 baking dish, and then he's gonna place the mushrooms in it. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up three tablespoons of butter. Now the butter in the baking dish will keep the mushrooms from sticking and will also add another layer of flavor. Now if you don't want to put butter in there, you can certainly just spray it with some cooking spray. Okay, we got a nice sizzle going with the butter here. I'm going to add our diced red pepper here. Okay, just think of the colors you can do. If you want to do yellow and the orange and a green, whatever you want to do. Even with the onion, if you want to do like a red onion, I've, I've got a yellow onion here and I diced up just half of one. I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to take the stems. Now, I diced up half of the stems that we pulled from the mushrooms, not all of them, because that's just going to be too many. <laughs> we won't have anywhere to put that. So I'm going to put that in here. Okay, so we're gonna saute this down for three minutes until everything is nice and soft. And then we're gonna bring it right back. Smells good. All right, let's add the real flavors now. <laughs> We've got some crumbled bacon. Now this comes out of a package that I have in my freezer that I picked up from Costco months and months ago. So it's already pre-cooked crumbled bacon. So if you don't have this, what you can do is just cook up some bacon and crumble it up into little pieces and you need about half a cup. So we're gonna add that all in there. We're gonna add some pepper. We're not gonna add any salt right now. And what I have right here is eight ounces of cream cheese. Now this was room temperature and it is cut into strips here for easy melting inside of our dish right here. 
All right, so he's going to stir this around until it is nice and melted and all comes together. And then we're going to finish these off for you guys. A few more steps, but they're so, he thinks they're so delicious. <laughs> oh, I know they're delicious. Yeah, I could just take a spoon right now and eat this. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the burner off. I'm using a one-inch cookie scoop here. And what I'm going to do is just scoop in some. You got it? I got it. All right, and then we're going to place it right into the mushroom. Right mm. on the mushroom there. Let it sink right on in. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna have him finish these off, and then what I'm gonna do is make the topping. You in trouble, you expect me uh -oh. to finish them off. <laughs> okay, so he's almost done putting the filling into the mushrooms here, so what I'm gonna do is just take a small bowl. I've got some very grated fresh Parmesan cheese here. I'm gonna put a quarter cup into the bowl. And then I'm going to put a quarter cup of some panko crumbs. All right, just give that a little blend here. Oh, those are looking good. See, that was just the exact amount needed for these mushrooms here. 17 mushrooms. How did that extra one get in there? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do now is take the crumb mixture and just crumble it on the top of each mushroom there. Oh, darn. We have extra. Uh-oh. You know where that's going. Yeah, in my belly. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave him to finish this off. Now, we want to go ahead and start preheating your oven to 350 degrees. The flavors are rocking in there. Oh, my God. I may have to fight a beagle for it. <laughs> we have a beagle underfoot. <laughs> she didn't come in here when the mushrooms came out, but she did come in here when the bacon and cream cheese came out yep. and started heating up. And that's when she came out here. That was important to her. Okay, if you've made stuffed mushrooms before, let me know down in the description box what flavors you like in your stuffed mushrooms. And what are you thinking about these flavors here? This is kind of the source for your saltiness, the cheese. It'll make it nice and golden brown on the top when we cook these. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy, you guys. I am. He's very happy. <laughs> okay, we're ready to place these in our oven for 20 to 25 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Those mushrooms are nice and tender. And that cheese is melted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bring your fork when you come back. Melty. Okay. We've got these out of the oven. We cooked them for 23 minutes. Mm -hmm. They're nice and golden brown. The mushrooms are nice and tender. Oh, yeah. And you're fixing to take a bite for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know it. Do we have a winner? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> okay, so are they tender? They're tender. Flavorful? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, these things are good. Okay, give us a thumbs up on this one. And don't forget, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below so that you'll always know when my shows are posted and comment also down below. Okay. <laughs> We will see you on the next episode. Bye.